foundation. Now, I don't know, um, okay, so, ow, I just hit my elbow. Ow, oh, that hurt. Stupid makeup tray. Anyway. Hello, my love. So today I'm going to be doing a long awaited review on this moisturizing foundation by Sassy and Chic. Now this is from the Dollar Tree, so it is Dollar Tree makeup. I usually say Dollar Tree issued. That's my thing. But anyway, I have two shades here because girl, I don't even know what shade I need. But if you want to pause this here to check out the ingredients um, and how to use it, please feel free to do so. I did get light number one and medium number one. These um, I like because you can tell. I mean, there's it appears to be like there's a difference in the in the shade. So here's the light, and let's see here. So here's what we're looking at. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Okay. So. Wow, a little bit goes a long way. I can't tell if it's because it's watery. I'm tell you guys, it smells like, it literally smells like a hospital. Like it reminds, the smell reminds me of latex gloves. Um, the opening, as you can tell, is so large and way too much comes out. So now that I've used this with my fingertips and my arm, let's go put some on my face and we'll just see how it goes. Clearly, I'm not gonna use the medium. Alrighty, love, so I'm starting with a bare face, except I did do my eye makeup and my brows, and I moisturized earlier this morning. Um, this is what my face looks like without any foundation. I have on my, um, just some lip balm. I've got my makeup mirror on, then off again, so you can see I've got freckles, which I'm proud of. I do have some sun spots, which I'm not so proud of. I'm wearing my Hello Kitty Precious App Smart Apple Lip Balm and my Bare Minerals uh, Primer, and that's it. And then my makeup, uh, eye makeup, which if you want to see what else I used, let me know in the comments. Can you tell by look at my face? I don't know if I'm going to be that impressed but here we go so I decided to use the shade light um, or the lightest shade and there's the medium there I did try my little stipple brush I didn't want to ruin it but I like I because I was afraid the product to get lost because it's so thin so here I am just this is so boring but um, just putting the foundation on you can see uh, hopefully you can my makeup light is on it literally just moves around on your face um, when you're first putting it on. So I switched to my finger. I was checking to see if the smell was still there. I couldn't smell it at that point. I just spread this all over, all over my face with my fingers. And um, like I said, all I had was a primer and I was starting to actually get impressed with this. Um, you can see now that um, I've been blending. This clip is sped up really fast as fast as it will allow me to speed it up on iMovie and I was blending and blending and blending and blending and it just you can see I was frustrated but finally here is the finished result and I still want to keep blending you can see it on my face I'm like oh my gosh it has like a dewy finish but if you think about it it did have a little bit of coverage I mean uh, my nose is still you know I'm kind of careful around my nose anyway because my nose piercing but my hands feel kind of icky but you know what I'm gonna go straighten my hair it takes me about 10 minutes to straighten my hair and I didn't put any powder on which I'll explain all that later I just left the foundation on and it takes me about 10 to 12 minutes to straighten my hair so I figured and let you guys know what I thought after about 10 to 15 minutes hey love so I just got done straightening my hair I've not put any other product in it yet or anything um, and I have had the foundation on for about 23 minutes no it doesn't take me 23 minutes to straighten my hair it took me 10 minutes like just running around like I had everything set up to like straighten my hair like I always do and then I realized I couldn't find my straightener this kind of actually works out a little bit better because I was just gonna wear the foundation while I straighten my hair now the reason I did this this 
way is because I did not want to waste my good powder, my good concealer, just in case like it was like truly really terrible. The smell wasn't as present as it was when I was like up, you know, like when I swatched it on my arm and I was sniffing it on my arm. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Fab TV. We say sniff instead of smell. Yeah, I'm impressed with is the coverage it did give me. I have on no powder. Like I said, I didn't set this with powder. I have on no concealer because I'm literally about to wipe this off of my face as soon as I'm done filming. It was breaking out a little bit down here but i do have a lot of freckles i've got some sunspots and um i've got of course i've got you know the fine lines going on i have naturally i have always have like dark circles under my eyes did waste my primer because my face is literally itching right now and something important to know about yours truly i have sensitive skin um and i'm not going to go into detail about the ingredients on the foundation i understand this product is a one dollar product i'm doing this review simply for my pretties and my viewers who have been requesting this for so long a lot of the darkness under my eyes it did cover I don't try to cover my freckles I embrace my freckles it just ends up happening that way with foundation I normally use but I definitely most days I let my skin breathe I embrace my freckles I'm proud of them but it is settling into my lines after about 20 minutes it is also as you can tell um, you know without a highlighter you can tell I'm looking oily already, you guys, and that's because it's literally sitting on top of my face. If your skin is not sensitive, if you are already wearing sunscreen, like my foundation, um, one of my foundations I use is, has sunscreen and my moisturizer does as well. Um, this doesn't have offer sunscreen has like a dewy finish so if you have dry skin this might be something for you to look into it's worth a shot for a dollar because i am i am somewhat impressed with the coverage but my face is already itching i am praying that i'm not gonna get some type of something or this doesn't like irritate my breakout or something i literally want to like claw my face off like every minute it's getting worse i honestly think that there are so many other oh gosh i want to scratch my face so bad um oh gosh i gotta get this off so i gotta hurry there are so many other foundations that you can get that you just pay a few dollars a few more dollars for save your face sensitive skin peeps in closing i mean maybe this this might be better though you can tell i mean just look at that i mean the coverage is not that bad but at the same time um after 20 minutes it just sits on top of your skin it's just not worth the headache to me however please let me know what you think about this foundation if you have tried it but that is about it loves i am gonna go put on my my foundation again and um get the rest of this off put on my foundation again and put on my blush and bronzer and all that stuff glad i didn't waste setting spray and concealer and my powder and omg because this is not worth wasting my good stuff on so i like to try to keep it as positive as possible and i hope you all enjoyed this i know you've waited for such a long time for it and more beauty reviews are coming soon i'll be doing Dollar tree product reviews number 18 omg will be coming soon in the meantime you can get your fix by watching my playlist i always have it linked down below and if you haven't already please subscribe and come back and see me again it's trying out some of the crappy Dollar Tree stuff and then sometimes it works out and it's amaze balls and um that's just what I do. That's just how I roll. We keep it real around here, no judgment zone. So if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, or if you just want to say hi, if you like whatever, comment down below. I love talking to you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.